This is Rockstars. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday morning. I am Sandy Waters from 98.9 The Buzz, Bizano and Sandy, and host of the Seven Figures podcast. Great podcast, by the way. Listen Thank to that for you. sure. <laughs> I'm Dave Amano. Good morning. I'm from the Avanti Entrepreneur Network. And also, I have my own podcast, too, the Avanti Entrepreneur Podcast. We help entrepreneurs grow their business. Yeah. You help Supposedly only women, but I know you help men too. I know. I with know. their finances, yes, right? So, yes. yeah. And this show, Rockstars, which you're watching right now, Thank it's you. kind of an extension of, of what you do every day. Your business yep. is just to talk to the entrepreneurs <clears throat> out there. I love entrepreneurs. I know. I'm like, too. oh, my people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fellow crazy mad scientists. Well, we're not Hello. All, we're not all your people, but I think a lot of us have an interest in it. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, on the show, you can get um, some advice about career goals, too. Absolutely. Right? Elevating, uh, elevating your game. Well, you look at the, the show Shark Tank. People yes. love that show, but not yeah. everybody wants to start a business. I think just sure. the topic of yeah. owning a business, growing a business, being an entrepreneur is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So we always welcome your feedback and your questions. You know, hit us up on whatever social media platform you love more. Um, but on Facebook, we got a message from Tori, and we're going to address this question with our guest today. But I wanted to ask you, um, he said, I have heard the horror stories about going into business with a partner. How do you feel about it? What should I be aware of? Now, you own your own business. Yeah. But it's just you. <clears throat> I am. I own 100%. But in previous businesses, I have had partners. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of businesses that have very successful partnerships. But it is. But it's a risk. Give us the gossip. <clears throat> it's Why? a risk. Most, <laughs> most partnerships don't work out, and right? Long term. Uh, well, mine, it, I want to say it didn't work out. Uh, one person, my partner, she was ready to, to move on. She, you know, she was with the business for a while. Didn't really, you know, like owning a business as oh, okay. much as she thought she would. Okay. And she was honest about it. And we just came up with a fair buyout and we're still friends. Okay. All right. And it was a great... I thought there was going to be more gossip to that story. No, but no, right. no war. But, but sometimes <laughs> you're right. It's like another marriage, right? I mean, yeah. you, you know, you're, you're together. I mean, even more than a marriage, you're together all day with the business. Now, if it is the right yin and yang, uh, some partnerships are wonderful. They're yeah. very complementary relationships, and they both respect each other's differences. Great. It could work out. But I have to say, I, I've heard upwards of 75% of partnerships, probably more, do not work out really? long term. Oh, I so, didn't realize that. Yeah. And our guest today, Leo Linder, who Leo is Linder. the CEO of Emerge. He's a solo, too. He doesn't He's have a, a solo partner. entrepreneur. He doesn't have a partner. I mean, he calls everybody his partner. Yeah. But to, yeah, he is this. He is he owns one hundred percent of the company, and that's going to be a great question for him as well, yeah. right? Yeah, excellent. Well, we're going to be right back with Rock Stars and with Leo Linder. Happy Sunday morning! Glad you're spending it with us on Rock Stars. Rockstars is supported by the Avanti Entrepreneur Network, number one in Rochester for entrepreneurs who want to move their business forward. Visit AvantiEntrepreneur.com to learn more about their coaching services, online programs. You'll grow, learn, and connect with hundreds of successful entrepreneurs and incredible keynote speakers such as Ellen Latham, founder of Orange Theory Fitness. Move forward with the Avanti Entrepreneur Network at AvantiEntrepreneur.com. Rockstars TV is supported by St. Bonaventure University. St. Bonaventure is a place where more than 2,000 students are becoming extraordinary. They instill in students a real passion for learning and living. Visit sbu.edu to learn more about St. Bonaventure University. Thank you so much for watching Rockstars. If you like interviews with entrepreneurs, you can also check out the Avanti Entrepreneur Podcast on your favorite podcast app, where we have incredible weekly interviews with the nation's most cutting edge entrepreneurs. Interviews have included Grant Cardone, Tom Galisano, Ellen Latham, founder of Orange Theory Fitness, and many more. Go to AvantiEntrepreneur.com to learn more about everything we offer entrepreneurs, such as our local networking and learning group, and of course, more about the podcast. That's AvantiEntrepreneur.com. Rockstars is supported by Rochester's hippest men's clothing store, Incognito Menswear and Tuck Shop in Penfield. For top-notch service, style, and quality, Incognito suits you. Good morning and welcome to Rockstars. So excited, Sandy and I today have a great rock star here in Rochester, Leo Linder from Emerge. Welcome to the show. 
Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. You, you, well, I met you a few years ago. Mm -hmm. You were recommended to me by a mutual friend, and then you spoke at my event at the Avanti Summit last year, which was fantastic. It was a great event, by the way. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes. Yeah, we had about 200 people there, and you were super mm -hmm. fantastic, of course. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, Sandy needs to meet Leo. I'm sure she's got a lot Aww, of questions for isn't him. Isn't right? nice? Yeah, always Absolutely. thinking about you. Always thinking about you. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, so he was telling me that your company is seven years old, right? Correct. Emerge. Seven years as of July 28th is actually our birthday. Wow. So, okay. So now yeah. explain the company to us. Sure. So Emerge is a company, it's a business outsourcing company. So anything companies need mm -hmm. that they don't have internally, they can outsource to us. The three things that we typically do for companies is help them find talent. So you can think of a staffing company or permanent placement company. We call it global RPO. The second thing that we do is outsource sales. So we help them increase revenue. We do sales inside their company and outside their company for them. And then the third thing is IT. And the reason why we work with IT is because that's the critical system that ties the whole company together. Our vision is to be able to be the Amazon of business services. When you need to have more sales in your company, there has to be an easier mechanism to dial sales up. And in order to do that, you need the right people, you need the right services, and you need the right technology. And you don't necessarily need to go to RFP and talk to three different companies. So we provide a combined offering so that we want to make increasing sales in your company as easy as buying a song on iTunes. So I was going to say that it sounds like three very different entities, but you guys, are you the only one that has combined all? All three? Sure. So we're working in very highly consolidated markets, right? So if you think about the talent industry, if you think about IT, yeah. if you think about you know other outsourcing call centers, they're very large. They've grown to the point where they're gobbling up more than half the market share. So what happens is you get a lot of smaller niche players, and they can't fulfill the promise for the whole business need. Because if I want to increase sales, I need the person, I need the technology, and right. I also need the process, right? I don't want to go to three different vendors for that. Sure. So our competitors are as large as the largest can be. I, uh, it, you know, everything from the, the Accentures and McKinsey's of the world all the way down to the niche shops with one or two entrepreneurs trying to drive results. So we fit is in the center being able to provide a full turnkey solution for companies that want to grow. We want to be the growth solution for organizations and take things like uh, complex IT problems for that would normally inhibit growth, like does my CRM work, right? All the way down to, for instance, in Asia, we work with large investment banking companies that do sell-side presentations, right? The old IT paradigm was, okay, we're going to fix the computer. On the trade floor, if a computer goes down, it could be a million dollars a second, right? So that's high pressure, keep the machines up and running, right? So we do that, but we also do the sell side. So if you're gonna make a presentation to a potential investor, it's gonna invest millions of dollars, right? You wanna make sure that the PowerPoint's there, that the lights yeah. are on, the, the video works, everything has to be rock solid. So we also do that part of IT. We focus on the growth, the revenue side of businesses, not just the cost centers. So it's almost one phone call, you. That's the, idea. Shop. That's, that's, that's the idea. Yeah. You know, Leo, I wish you were a little bit more passionate, though. I mean, you're very <laughs> mellow about the, the energy that you're bringing, you know? Yeah. Well, we should, you know, be, before we go for the break here, we should mention, you, like as Sandy said, you started the company seven years ago. Yeah. But, but to grow so quickly, right? Yeah, 450 employees. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, that's super fantastic. And, uh, well, we're going to be right back with more uh, with Leo Linder from Emerge. Thanks for watching Rockstars. We'll be right back. Rockstars is supported by Hazleton Auto Mall. Hazleton Auto Mall has been proudly serving the Rochester, New York area since 1920. Conveniently located on the corner of Fairport and Marsh Roads in East Rochester. Shop 17 acres of new and pre-owned vehicles all in one location. Shop 2,000 new and used vehicles, including six out of the top 10 best-selling new vehicles in the greater Rochester area. Hazleton Auto Mall, a fourth generation family-owned company in business for nearly 100 years. Only 15 minutes from the city of Rochester and just off I-490. The Consolarium Group is a proud sponsor of Rockstars TV. Based here in Rochester with over 150 years of combined experience, please consider us for all your employee benefit needs. 
Welcome back to Rockstars. I'm Dave Mamano here with Sandy Waters. We are interviewing a great entrepreneur today, <laughs> Leo Linder from Emerge. Thanks so much for your time. You're a busy man. You've grown the company to 450 employees in seven years. Top 100, very high up, we'll leave it at that, right? All three years. <laughs> and uh, incredible. So we have had some feedback on our Facebook page about asking you questions. And Sandy picked a good one out. We, yes, we want to yes. throw it to you. So Tori wants to know, um, he said he's heard the horror stories about going into business with a partner. Now, you don't have a partner. Um, so he wants to know how you feel about having a partner. What should you be aware of? Why didn't you choose to go into business with someone else? I, I think that's probably one of the most critical decisions that an entrepreneur entrepreneur can make. Um, I know for us, the right decision was for me to be the single owner and operator of the business with the extreme caveat that everybody in our company is a partner of the business. Okay. And we have to incent and make sure that the business not only works for a single owner that maybe on paper that keeps us nimble, we can make decisions incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. We can move in uh, ways that only a single owner and entrepreneur can. Because you don't have to convince your we partner. We don't have to convince a partner to do anything. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, you have to solve for the competency issue, right? Because partners usually bring something to the table that's unique and different. And so what we, we actually work with a lot of early stage entrepreneurs that make that choice. They, they usually have a great product and they have a partner that might be a developer or a healthcare expert and they can focus on general business or be the face of the, of the company. They haven't solved for the sales problem. So what we have actually found is that outsourcing those pieces that you know normally might have been equity uh, positions in the past keeps you in a better position when you go to raise funds. So, you know, our choice as a business has been to, at this point, we've grown organically. We've been very, very judicious about our choices so that when we do go to the markets in whatever form, um, we'll have a full array of equity options in order to, to act on. And I think, you know, if I were to start Emerge Over today, I'd probably do the same thing. I'd outsource any key piece that I needed, right? And create um, very aggressive incentive plans and upside options if we were to sell or to take on investors for the management team. That way they can participate in the upside, but you can still stay nimble as a single owner operator. So that's really, I, I think, what I've found to be the, the great middle ground between committing to partners early and um, you know, going at it solo because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of pressure. I was pressure. just going to say, it's all on you though. You don't have anyone else to lean on. It's, this is this is all you. And you have a family too. Running all of it must right, be a right. challenge, right? Well, I met his wife. Yeah. And I know some of his team. Well, we'll give Barbara and Paulina some credit, right? The, Absolutely. Are they, are, they, are they there for you, even though they're not specific partners, but I imagine you lean on them quite often. So uh, let's deconstruct partner, right? Mm -hmm. So first of all, you know, I am very blessed in a sense that everybody who is part of the Emerge family is a partner. And I okay. truly mean that. And, you know, I'm quite fortunate in a sense that, um, you know, I don't want to be self-deprecating, but I am the least talented person on our team, right? And yeah. that's, uh, you know, part of the strategy, well, right? You, Trying you, to you, hire better than you can and provide more upside yeah. and greater opportunities for the people who are working mm -hmm. in the organization in the family. So I'll also say we have taken on over six different entrepreneurs through acquisition. We use the term acquisition because it's common and people understand it. We call it a trade sale or sometimes just a merger. So we've taken on more than six companies in the last seven years, and that's brought in key capabilities, key leadership points within our organization so that we get the strength of entrepreneurs in our company. We take the burden of operating off of them once they hit a point where they've kind of hit that glass ceiling. They just can't grow anymore. They don't have enough capital. They don't want to go on and take on different investments or the investment group they have can't transition them into the next round. Those are usually the types of entrepreneurs that I like to work with because they've proven themselves, they're highly inspired, they're highly motivated, and they've got talent. Um, those are the types of companies we, we like to merge with. Excellent. Well, Leo, we got to take a quick break. 
I love what you said, though, and we, I want to expand that a little bit more, that you, you said jokingly, not jokingly, that, you, you know, basically, when you are this, uh, as, as a leader, you should not be the smartest person in the room, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And, Absolutely. And otherwise, you're in the wrong room, right? So, with, with, so we, we want to learn. He lives by that. Oh, my we, God. Yeah. If, like you're the smartest person, if you're the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong right, room. The so wrong room. obviously, look at me now, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're going to be right back with more, but we want to ask you when we get back a little bit more about the roller coaster ride of your entrepreneurial experience, the sure. highs, lows, everywhere in between. We'll be right back with Leo Linder from Emerge. Rockstars is supported by Alliance Advisory Group. Whatever vision you have for your business and financial future, it takes the right planning to make it happen. Over the course of many years of helping business owners, Alliance has learned firsthand what works and what doesn't work. They offer a proven process that provides the framework to uncover opportunities, maximize results, and put you on a solid path to achieving what is important to you. Call Alliance today to learn more about getting a customized plan at 585-264-1111. Thank you so much for watching Rockstars. If you like interviews with entrepreneurs, you can also check out the Avanti Entrepreneur Podcast on your favorite podcast app, where we have incredible weekly interviews with the nation's most cutting edge entrepreneurs. Interviews have included Grant Cardone, Tom Galassano, Ellen Latham, founder of Orange Theory Fitness, and many more. Go to AvantiEntrepreneur.com to learn more about everything we offer entrepreneurs, such as our local networking and learning group, and of course, more about the podcast. That's AvantiEntrepreneur.com. Rockstars TV is supported by the law firm of Woods, Ovia, and Gilman. As a full-service law firm, they are able to specialize in the needs of founders and entrepreneurs. Visit woodsovia.com to learn more about how they have mastered the art of representing people. Welcome back. Thank you so much for waking up with us. This is Rockstars TV, and we are having a great time with Leo Linder. I hope you're having a great time. I'm having a blast. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Once again, a great time. Yeah. No, so in this last segment, we have a few more questions. Yes. And well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again. I, my, one of my favorite quotes about being a leader is that you, if you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. Right. right. <laughs> Makes so sense. So basically yes. surround yourself with people that are smarter in, in their areas of expertise and it makes it easier for right. you right so right. so you obviously are doing that growing you know seven years 450 people tell us a little bit about your leadership style sure i i heard a story recently that really describes my perspective on leadership and that is if you take a hundred people 80 of them are doing the job right mm -hmm. every day in and out 10 of them are quote unquote mouth breathers, right? You just put up with them because they're they're <laughs> deliberate, right? They're showing up, that, that's, good. They're, that, that's good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're left with nine people, right? That are absolutely rock stars. They are the ones that should be here from a talent perspective. They're the ones that are unique product makers. They're the innovators. They're the ones that drive the business, right? And that leaves one. The one's job isn't to be better than any of the nine that are running the business. It's to get the other 99 home safely. So my job is to look out for the financial health of the business, look out for the direction, the vision, the mission, make sure that we're operating from a values driven perspective. We want to make sure that we're making decisions. It's from a framework of values because operating in 10 countries, we're way too small. We're a rounding error for some of our large mm. international competitors. Mm. So we have to make sure that in each country, every person can make a decision based on values, based on what we believe in as an organization. And that's what allows me to be able to work with these talented nine, because they are the true innovators in, the, in our company. Fantastic. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So Sandy and I love asking this question yeah. because, you know, you see the entrepreneur on the cover of the magazine. Yeah. Everything looks great and perfect. And <laughs> people, so successful. Yeah. And, look at, yeah. I mean, look at yeah. your sport jacket. Yeah. I mean, you got, you got the, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. You know? So on paper, you look sure. great. And you are great. But uh, behind every successful entrepreneur is that roller coaster. Sure. So can you, can sure. you share some of your ups and downs with us? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah no, no, no question. You're too excited about that. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, well, I mean, I think it's part of the psychology of being an entrepreneur. You have to enjoy that roller coaster to a small degree. At what it, point yeah. did it take to actually, quote unquote, enjoy this roller coaster? Because a lot of people are intimidated by that, right? Yeah, Get yeah. Get discouraged easily. You know, I, I think it's, it's not judging anything from a good or bad perspective. It's just, it's today, okay. right? 
Um, I, I used to talk about the shower test, right? Does anybody like a cold shower? Most people would say no. They like yeah. it nice and warm, right? They like to be comfortable. But as an entrepreneur, you have to be able to turn the cold water on, step in, and not jump out screaming. You just have to say, this is really cold. I'm not going to slip and hit my head trying to get out because it's too cold. I'm just going to very calmly, very collectively turn the knob so that it's warmer. And mm -hmm. if we can make, well, you know, what I like to characterize as responses in not reactions, things will work out. See, I scream. I scream. Do, do you like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is there one um, specific event that has happened in your sure. career that you're like, oh yeah, this was a low. This yeah, was a low, yeah, but yeah. I got myself out of it. Yeah, well, I absolutely. I won't take credit for getting myself out of it because luckily I've surrounded myself with enough leaders that helped us turn the ship around. But I'll I absolutely, and this has happened multiple times, especially in our business, as we grow, we take on big giant companies, big giant competitors, mm -hmm. and then we also take on some more of the niche players and competitors. And so sometimes when you keep your eye on the big guy, it's the little guy that can get ah, you, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes it's market conditions. So we had a market condition hit one of our clients, very large international bank client, and we lost 75% of our revenue. Mm like 75% of our revenue in less than a two month period. Wow. Right. So you were up at three in the morning a little bit here. We, right. well, <laughs> you know, exactly. You're scratching your head. You're saying, how am I going to figure this out? What are we going to do? We're going to, so we did what every entrepreneur does. You get up in the morning and you start selling yeah. and you start selling like crazy. We replaced more than 50% of that revenue within six months. Wow. So it was absolutely a very measured response. It was the team believing in the mission, making decisions based on values and not worrying about things that are outside of our control. Let's work on our relationships today and move forward. So excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Sell, sell, sell. So when it, when in doubt, sell. So. I've, I've never talked to a customer of any sort that said, yeah, I, you know what? I need less sales, right? right? I'm yeah. just selling too much, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I if they it. can, it's a delivery challenge, right? And, you know, I'm not yeah. downplaying the ability to deliver complex products and services, especially through a channel. There's sometimes outside forces that, you know, play a role in, you know, stopping a company from delivering a quality product. But I think that's also part and parcel to a bigger uh, picture on how can I, you know, have alternative options right now. We do a lot of business in APAC right now. And as you know, you know, there's a lot of change in the uh, trade policies between the U.S., China, yeah. Japan, Taipei. So I think for us, um, we understand market conditions play a role in it. Currency plays a role in our profitability. But at the end of the day, I can't go back to, you know, my team and say, guess what? We're going to get paid less because, oh, by the way, you know, currency changed, right? Or there is yeah. a, you know, there's a tariff situation that's affecting our clients, right? Everybody needs to get paid. So as entrepreneurs and as leaders, we need to find a way to navigate these situations and be creative about it. Leo. We got to go, but we could talk to you forever. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Thank, thank been, you so much. Yeah, oh, wonderful. thank you. Congratulations on making Rochester proud. And we're proud of you and doing great things and continued massive success. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Leo. Thank you all for watching Rockstars.